so we are starting with the geometric sequence now we have some set of nice numbers over here we have one three nine twenty seven eight one two four three and the dot that that's now the dot that that indicates that is an infinite geometric sequence so that is we can keep adding more terms to it good now the clue to identify the geometric sequence is this whenever i give a sequence to identify that that particular sequence is geometric divide each term by a preceding term when you divide each term by a preceding term and realize that the ratio between those two things is constant throughout that is the common ratio is constant throughout two consecutive terms in the sequence that sequence becomes a geometric sequence now let me make it more clear when i take three and i divide it by the preceding term now the preceding term of three is one that is the previous term so when i take three i divide by one what do i get i get three the same way when i take nine and i divide by the preceding term three i get three when i take 27 i divide by the preceding term nine I get three. The same thing applies to each one over twenty-seven. Like this, I get three. So you realize that the ratio is constant throughout three, 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 three. and this makes this sequence a geometric sequence because the ratio is constant throughout. So for you to identify geometric sequence, just use this. Divide a term a term in the sequence by a preceding term so you can take any of the terms so if you are taking like 81 the preceding term of 81 is 27 just divide 81 by 27 and your answer is the ratio so when the ratio is common throughout it makes the sequence a geometric sequence good i believe from this you can deduce something over here watch this in our first ratio we just want to multiply one times three i guess three in the second ratio, when I multiply 3 by 3, I get 9. In the third ratio, when I multiply 9 by 3, I get 27. Wow. And in the last ratio, uh, realize when I multiply 27 by 3, I get 81. 81. This brings us to an important conclusion in geometric sequence. Geometric sequence is a sequence where each new term is gotten by multiplying the previous term by a constant called the common ratio it makes sense watch over here when i multiply one by three in the first ratio i get three three by three in the second ratio i get nine so you realize that i'm just multiplying by a constant called the common ratio but this time around to get the new term i just multiply the common ratio by the previous term so to get a term after three i need to multiply three by the common ratio to get a nine to get a term of a 9, I need to multiply the 9 by a common ratio to get a 27. It makes clear, right? So from this, we can reduce a nice formula. So let's say our first term is a sub 1. To get our second term, we need to multiply a sub 1 by the common ratio. And the common ratio is r. So our second term will become a sub 1 r. To get the third term, we need to multiply a sub 1 r by r. To get the next term, that is the third term. So when we multiply, we get a sub 1 r squared. To get the fourth term, we need to multiply a sub 1 r squared by r. And what we get is a sub 1 r cube. And that is what we get. So we can make it a bit clear by using numbers. So you see, realize here our first term is 1. So to get our second term, we just multiply our first term 1. By our common ratio, which is 3. And we get the second term, which is 3. To get the 9, that is the third term, we need to multiply the preceding term, that is 1 by 3, by another 3, that is a common ratio. And we end up getting 1 times 3 all squared. To get the 27, we need to multiply the preceding term, that is 1 times 3 all squared, by the common ratio again, that is we're going to get 1 times 3 all cubed. It makes sense, right? So per this, you can deduce a nice formula out of it. So the formula to find for the nth term of a geometric sequence, given your first term and your common ratio, the formula is given as u sub n is equal to a sub 1 times
times r exponent n minus 1. And that is the formula that we use. So with this, we can proceed to find any other term in the sequence. So using our formula, let's explain the parameters of the formula. U n over here is the nth term. A sub 1 is the first term. And R is a common ratio. So it's obvious over here. So using our formula, we'll be finding the C term of the sequence. So find the sixth term of the sequence. We know our common ratio from this same sequence is 3. So we shouldn't forget about our common ratio. So u sub n becomes u sub 6 because we are looking for the sixth term. And our first term is 1. So we're now getting 1 bracket open. The bracket encloses the common ratio. Now common ratio is 3. So we substitute it inside generally like this. Exponent 6 minus 1. The 6 is the n. And the one is the one in the formula. So further simplify, we get u sub 6 to be equal to 1 times 3 raised to the power 5. Because 6 minus 1 is 5. Now 3 exponent 5 is the same as 243. So our u sub 6 becomes equal to 243. And that is the system of this sequence. So simple. So whenever you are given a question and you realize that your sequence that has been given has a common ratio throughout that sequence the geometric sequence if you're asked to find the nth term of the sequence just use this formula just what you need is just your first term of the geometric sequence and your common ratio you are through with that you can find the hundredth term the 21st term the 25th term the 50th term any term that you ask for you can get them using this formula so now let's proceed to geometric series geometric series So a geometric series, I said earlier, a series is just a sum of numbers in a sequence. So what we have here, we have a sequence and we've just replaced a comma in a sequence with an addition sign. So what we have here is an addition sign. So this is a series. Now to check whether this series is geometric, we need the common ratio. Now if the common ratio between a term and a preceding term is constant throughout the series, then this series is ready to be considered as a geometric series so let's check for the common ratio in this series so we have 8 over 4 i'm taking 8 over 4 when i divide 8 over 4 what do i get i get 2. i can also check using 16 and 32. when i divide 32 by 16 i get 2. i can take any two terms i can also take 4 and 2 when I divide, I'll get 2. Yes. So, we realize that my ratio is common over here. 2, 2 throughout. Hence, this series is a geometric series. So, when a question is given to us to find the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series, how do we go about that question? It's basically simple. When you're asked to find the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series, this is the formula we use. The formula is... S sub n is equal to a sub 1 into bracket r exponent n minus 1 all over bracket open r minus 1. And that is a formula we use in finding the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series. So let's try something. But before we try, let's explain our parameters over here. In our formula, we have S sub n. S sub n stands for the sum of the first n terms of the series. So it can be sum of first 20, sum of first 10, sum of first 15, any of them. So if it's like the sum of first 20, the n there will be replaced with 20. So it become S sub 20. If it's sum of the first 10, it become S sub 10. And that is it. Now A1, that's A sub 1. We've done it through our lessons a lot and it's obviously the first term and here our first term we have is 2 so we should take note of that and r which is the common ratio over here is also 2 so r is our common ratio a sub 1 is our first term and s sub n is the sum of the first n term good so with this 
let us find the sum of the first five terms of this sequence. So S sub n becomes S sub 5 because we are calculating for the sum of the first five terms. So S sub 5 is equal to our first term is 2 times the common ratio is 2 raised to the power 5 because we are finding the sum of the first five terms minus the one over there brackets close all over r minus 1 now r is 2 so 2 minus 1 like this good so our s sub 5 will be equal to 2 into brackets now 2 exponent 5 is 32 minus 1 all over now 2 minus 1 is 1 so we have all over 1 so s sub 5 becomes equal to 2 into bracket 31 that one was working from 32 minus 1, which gives us 31. Looking at this, 2 times 31 is equivalent to 62. So S of 5 becomes 62. And that is the answer for the sum of the first five terms of this series. So using this formula, the only thing you need is that you need the first term of the series. So when a series, a geometric series is given to you, after deducing whether it's a geometric series, that is using a common ratio trick. After getting a common ratio, you just need to search for your first term and your common ratio and enter them into your formula and you can find the sum of the number of terms they can just give you so when it's 100 term just use a formula get your first term your common ratio and just use your formula you are fine with that so that is very very simple so if you've not watched my previous video which was on arithmetic sequence and series kindly do so it has more explanations on arithmetic sequence and series which can help you a lot